523 now. Changes in health care will have an impact on those already in the profession and those about to enter. Alexandra Field talks with some of those doctors of tomorrow about the challenges they'll face. This is the time of year when young doctors who have spent years in training finish their residencies at assigned hospitals and head off to wherever they want. Most of my patients are telling me, are you leaving? Are you leaving? Are you leaving? It's graduation day for Dr. Afalaki Awiyali. She spent the last three years at Ellis Hospital in the family medicine program. Now she has decided to stay in Schenectady. This residency program, the, the love that I've received, the support, I felt like I'm not ready to leave. I want to stay in this area, and I, I, see, I see the need. Most of our patients are really underserved. Dr. Awiyali is joining uh, uh, Hometown Health, and Dr. Denia Pedrera is joining Whitney Young. And they're going to provide care to the underserved community that would not otherwise have primary care. That's a quarter of the graduating class. Like other young doctors, Dr. Awiyali has medical school debts to pay. Compared to specialists, primary care doctors have more difficulty repaying the loans, a problem that keeps some young doctors away from the field. But Ellis is helping its doctors find ways around that right here in the capital region. The place that I already signed a contract to work at the hometown health at um, State Street, um, they will be, they have uh, the federal loan repayment program, so that's going to be a help to, uh, to be able to help some of the loan that I have. What the loan can't help with is the pile of work Dr. Awiyali will face, a stack of patients that could grow quickly once federal health care reform kicks in. It's going to be overwhelming, I know that, but um, somebody's going to have to do it and I'm praying that other people will. The goal at Ellis is to help more doctors do it here. Alexandra Field, CBS 6 News. 525 now, and in these...